Hi everyone, my name is Rodney. I'm here with Board Game Geek at Gamma 2020. I've been joined by Randy from Steve Jackson Games, and you've got a game that I cannot wait to ask you what the theme is. It's called <laughs> Scarf and Barf. Scarf and Barf. Yeah, we. I was tasked with creating something. Yes. And uh, they kept using. This the is words, your fault. <laughs> this is definitely my fault. <laughs> okay. Uh, they kept using the words clowns. Yes. And I just didn't feel like it. Right. But I, as we were talking through, and I'm like, well, what about when you go to a carnival? Because it was kind of in the summertime. Right. You go to a carnival or fair, and they have just all of that food. Yeah. The craziest food you can find. <laughs> and then they get you to go on and a ride. And then you go on rides. And I'm like, well. I see where you're going. It's starting to make sense, right? Let's just do that. Yeah. And it's, okay. it's a very light game. Yeah. But it's, you, you pick out of a, you'll have six cards in your hand. Right. Everyone at the table does. You will choose three of them for the round. You're having, um, you'll put them down. Yep. And then you will go on, everyone will go on the same three rounds. And we're seeing some cards here on the table, Yeah, right? we're seeing yeah. the double cheeseburgers, the nachos, the okay. deep-fried peanut butter. Uh, the, at the bottom, you're going to see, hey, if a, if a red one shows up, you're going to lose the double cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. If a and this red is from the dice? Three, yes. Yeah. So as we go on a ride, it'll say, let's say we have to go on the Horkatron. <laughs> right. We're going to roll the blue and the red. And, all right, it's a red one. Sorry, I'll just bring this on, okay? Right. I'd lose the double cheese. Right, right. Gone. Um, if you hit This any is what you numbers, threw up. I get yeah. it. Okay. And then anything you have after the three rides, you score for the round. Yes. And that was breakfast. Anything you, you manage to keep down. Okay. Right. This was breakfast, and then you play lunch, and then you play dinner. Right. And the game is done. Whoever has the most points stored away yes. is the winner. It is not super complicated. It is a fun little experiment. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, it sounds fun, uh, I have to admit. I want to go through and have a clam steak or yeah. whatever it is. Not fun for the people on the rides, but fun for the players for sure. And mm. I can see on the, on the pictures, the, the artwork's very delightful here. It's people just hang on for dear life to both the rides and whatever's in their stomach. Right. That, <laughs> Laura, Laura great. D'Souza, I believe, is, yeah. is our artist on this. Well, did a great job. Yeah. Can you tell me um, how long does it take to play typically? Sounds like it's pretty light. It's, but... it's light. It's going to be like 20 minutes, I think. Okay. Minutes. How many players? Uh, up to... Let's find out. Let's, I'm yeah, let's look at the, the box. Uh, box I check. think we did up to six. Yeah, two to six. Exactly. Um, the only thing you're limited by is the number of cards, really, because okay. you have to be able to draw new cards after you've played the other ones. Gotcha. Um, Perfect. There's And you're all playing simultaneously, really, so you could play with hundreds if you had enough yeah, cards. Right. Not that you would, but right, you could. Right, but you could. Okay, well, that's that's our overview here of Scarf and Barf. Now, I know you had something else you wanted to show, just kind of as a little surprise. I did. Not related to this. Not related. Uh, we don't have much time, but I wanted to show. We do Sweet. have, if anybody hasn't seen them, more of the Car Wars minis, or even a first shot at some of them. Yeah, we can zoom in here maybe on the uh, yeah. other camera as well. So these are professionally painted. We have. They guy. don't come like this. No, they'll okay. be they'll be gray, and these are these are uh, not really prototype, but factory samples. Okay. So they'll be some of them may be slightly different, right. but they'll be gray, and then you can have someone you know who is can, yeah. an award-winning painter. If you're painter. not right, right. <laughs> right. Can you can you tell me? So this is sorry, an add-on. For the game, uh, or this comes no, with the. Uh, it won't. These are cars we have. These are models yeah. we have. I don't have all and only all of the right, right. models from the core set. Okay. The core set, I believe, is ten of the cars. Right. Well, these are fantastic. The game. These yeah. look really, really awesome. And then you pick whichever car you want, whatever color you're going to be, and then it fits on the base. Yeah. Yeah. And that fits on here. Yes. There you go. And then if somebody wants to be a different color, we we ran into well that should always be the yellow car, and it's like nah people. People want to be the green player, but right. the other color. Right, right. And it doesn't really make a difference. It's just cosmetic. Sure. Well, visually, very cool, obviously, with the painting on them as well. But um, hey, look, if you're looking to get started in painting, honestly, a car is much easier than a detailed miniature in a lot of ways. So this might be a great place to get started well, with your And painting. in Car Wars, it's that vehicle is your army. So right. you are painting one, one. maybe. Right. Or yeah, none of that one will go. And if the, if the paint's a little rough, I mean, these are cars that are <laughs> racing around, <laughs> smashing, and shooting things. So there you go. Well, thank you, Randy, so much for giving us an overview of Scarf and Barf and a little preview of the uh, these awesome-looking painted cars Absolutely. as well. And all of you, thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.